Right then, in this video we've got a very rare 1920s or 30s Aldous and Campbell lift. This lift was modernised in the 60s or 70s by Stanner. It was modernised again with a like for like relay logic in the 90s. And this lift still feels very original. It's still a classic old lift, still single speed. And despite the few alterations it's had, it still feels very original. So let's just go through this. Aldous and Campbell are now a very rare lift company. Hardly anything from them now survives. One of the things they were really big at back in the day was heavy duty goods lifts. They made some very solid, well built lifts. All the ones that knew of these disappeared before I started YouTube. And that's very frustrating. And I don't know of any working Aldous and Campbell goods lifts, which is really annoying. So I really want to go in one again. Although that said, the company that was linked to Aldous and Campbell, Etchels, two of their classic heavy duty goods lifts still survive. And those are very similar to Aldous and Campbell. Now, as well as their goods lifts, they also did residential lifts. This is the second one of these I've found in many, many years of looking. So that sort of shows you how rare these are. The other one I found had a VF drive mod. This one, however, doesn't. So this lift was modernised in the 60s or 70s by Stanner and has some Dewhurst buttons added. A bit weird when you think of all lift companies but it's Stanner. Now Stanner are actually a very old lift company they go back a very long way and a long time in the past they actually built their own lifts. It was only in the 80s and 90s when they went semi-generic and in the modern day they're now no longer a proper lift company they're just a shitty generic installer. Anyway back to the Alderson Campbell. Despite the Stanner mod which is a relatively light mod it's still very original. Then in 1994 the Logic was replaced with a Leicester controls, but don't worry, it's not a shit one. It was a light for light relay logic. Very surprised that Leicester still made it into the 90s, but it's very good because it means the lift still feels completely original because the function's exactly the same. It's just changing the slate logic to a more modern relay logic doing the same thing. It's a bit strange really, I still would making these sort of logics in the 90s. Although it would have been better if I saw the original Alderson Campbell slate logic, but sadly not. Let's now start off by riding the lift. And let's take a look on top of the lift. Notice that the lift tracks are pipe shaped, which shows you it's a very old lift. And now let's go into the motor room.